it out there. You killed it. Not, not. Well, I blew her up. Tony hit the wall. His truck's all fucked up, so he's pushing me back to the pits. <laughs> hey! Oh, big one two from the semi. Woo! We like them one twos. Yep, we're stuck. And my bright idea to use the 2500 HD with the snow plow didn't do anything. Gave it a couple good yanks. Had a big old long chain on there, but this is a heavy rig. Ended up taking two pickup trucks, pulling it out the other way to get it out of there. Well guys, we're here in Ipava. We're about to freaking take off to Indy. Got everything loaded up. Almost everybody's here. It's 
been a hell of a morning getting everything ready hope it all works out for us She made it here along with the rest of them. So let's see what we can fucking do today. Well, tomorrow. Tonight, we have fun. Here we are. Scooter. Uh, Mo and the Jeep and kids. There's the golf. One of the golf carts, I guess. Or the golf cart. Oh, a couple of pit bikes back there. Here's this stuff. Thirty seconds later, Tony gets the wing nut off. Right? Baby, let's go! Yeah! 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 Look at Hillbilly Tom, baby! Ah. 
Let's go! toys we got for these guys. What up, Andrew? That's Anthony, that's Chad, Dusty, Tommy. You know these ones. Yep. Yep, let's unload, baby. Yep. That's spicy. Thanks for cleaning the earwax out. Jeez. Oh my gosh. This has got LS in it too now. What's going on, bud? You ready to rip it? This thing's sounding good in the videos. Yeah. Love those wheels.
<laughs> yes. Yes. Good to see you, Sam. Yeah. Dang. This thing's sick too. What up, bro? Hello, buddy. I figure out my door. Gonna get some cyclones today, boys. Oh yeah, this will definitely do cyclones. Big man with Weston. <laughs> He's like, God damn. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to disconnect my cutoff for oil pressure, and that's never a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Especially it's always drop. a good thing. Yeah, that would be good. It's a nice unit, man. It's really neat to see yeah, you over really here. It's really dirty at the moment. Oh, yeah, yes, she's, she's, right. Right. she's had a hot time last night. I think you're going to be good for a hard time more, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to find a scooter or something. Yeah. There you go. Good meeting you, man. Thank you, buddy.
<laughs> Tony, ready, yeah, you baby. ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. First time, we're going to hopefully blow the tires off. We better. I know you're ready. Oh, yeah, that's how he starts it. He's going to go in and do a burnout first? Yeah, he just blew that thing up. Buddy. Hey, are, are you that Joe Ritter guy? That's like, oh, fucking right I am. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Give him another one. Give him one more, Dusty, for good luck. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. I like that. But what I really like is this Crown Vic from Zombie Garage in the burnout pit. Who's our driver? The man driving the Crown Vic is Joe Ritter, baby. Tractor puller headers, and he is going to blow the tires right out the back of this. I side. think this thing will blow the tires. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna happen. I think this thing will blow the tires. Guarantee.
boy is ripping. I think he went up a gear. That's it. Two minutes are up. He's still got the tires on. There it is. Now we're talking. The last second gets a tire off. Yeah, everybody, get it together. Get your hands together for Jim Ritter. Brother, you killed it out there. You killed it. That's, that's what I like to see. Zombie Garage. No, you got one. You did good, though. You did good. I do it on the way out. <laughs> I think his buddy is up next, too. Thanks for being here, brother. Dude, look at this fender that he built. I mean, that's fancy. Very nice. Wow, what a rip. There it is. There you have it, there folks. It there you have it. The Zombie Garage Crown Vic. Who's next, Brian? Do we're keeping it in the family. That was Joe Ritter. Here comes Seth Ritter. And now coming up next, we got a little G-Body shuffle on the way. As soon as we get that S10 truck out, Seth Ritter waiting at the exit of the pad. The man calls himself Hillbilly Tom, so we know we're in for a treat. Pusher Quad's making its way out there to give the S10 a quick little shove out of here. He's chomping at the bit, got his hand draped over the steering wheel, getting ready to burn the tires right off the back of the Monte Carlo Supersport. The one, the only, the man they call Hill Billy Tom. He goes by legally, Tommy Teal. Here we go.
These tires have got to be close to popping. Oh, there's some treads coming off. Getting close to the time limit here. Let's see if we can get them off. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Tommy Teal in Big Bo. We got Michael Flatley doing a little river dance out there first. I see that. But before that. that. <laughs> he said, my show's not over, brother. All gonna right, fire who's up, up big next? Bow. This is Anthony Shipman going to be coming out next. He calls this truck. That was graceful. That's a graceful exit. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes... the Black Hole S10. Okay. That had to be the best tip-in of open so far. That was a great tip-in right there from the S10. Oh, no! Oh, yes! No! Didn't make it out. That means he's going to have to back up. And his points are now nothing. Oh, Tommy just gets it up against the wall. And the thing gets shut off. But Tommy, what a great skid, my friend.
Uh, he gave it a good shot. That he was gave it a good shot. How did that go for you out here on the skid pad? Not as good as I wanted. It didn't turn <laughs> like it should. It happens. We'll get you scooped off of here. Hopefully, you don't have to call one five five five. You're done. Dude, that was probably the strongest tip in of the open burnout comp yet. What? He made it so by hitting the wall. I blew mine up. Right there, too, dude. What? Look right here. Did that go against me? Did that go against me? No, no, no. Uh -uh. You're good. How'd I do? You did. I didn't get to see it, but I heard you, dude. You were ripping. Dude, he said Hillbilly Tom, dude. Yeah, he said the one and only Hillbilly Tom. Dude, brother, did you get out? Did you get out? Dude, I fucking was like. It just dude, everybody was cheering for you, dude. Everybody was cheering. What happened to Tony? What happened? Here comes Michael Sanders in a half-ton Chevy. He calls the warden. I like this guy's style. He's just one hand in it. Sanders, a disciple of the kill-all tires religion. Yeah, I mean, for a full-size truck, he's doing a damn good job getting this thing all over the burnout path. the thing stopped it exploded the radiator that's a solid rip let's make some noise for the chevy pickup sucker went off like old faithful we're gonna need the push crew out here for sure oh uh, we got a small fire i might be able to blow this one out myself hold on man heck of a skid mr sanders how'd it go for Don't you out there I was expecting fire. to blow it up and i was hand the, the radiator had to give up first i was expecting the motor to Hey, well, yours always next time, brother. I'll be back yep. next time. His That's right, give it up fire. for Michael Sanders, everybody. No, nah, he didn't move yet. We're still good. Clear it out. Clear so what I out. said was, you got to put her in neutral and rev her up a couple times. Give her a couple revs. Oh, the freedom may have left your engine, brother. It's over, Johnny. We'll push him back. We'll push him back. Pull up the next zombie garage vehicle. Come on up here. Brian, who's our next contestant? The man rolling up this way, and it is running. I can confirm that. Chad Wiley coming up right now in this third-gen Camaro. All right, Chad. You're good to go.
give it up for Chad Wiley. My boy, smoke out the stands over here in the third dance. next to it was like what the hell and then they they said oh all these guys are throwing trash at the people behind them <laughs> dude tommy let that fucker go off the leash for yeah, real he rammed it into the he rammed it into the wall twice now that fucker come back into the pits knocking oh, oh, chat was doing really good it sounded great i wish i could it. it never fell it on never face. fell on face no. one time that i told you i told you yeah, it 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 went. Went. I mean, yeah, it Find, I know it's hard to find where you're at in there sometimes. It's hard yeah. to find where you're going to go next, but you got to try. You got to try, like Tony says. You got to try to imagine where the walls are, yeah. and you got to try to drive away from them or something. Yeah. But no, I think I kissed the wall. I got a. Well, goddamn! Don't ask Tony about driving. Yeah, don't tell me. I'm with the wall. I don't know. That was insane. You're trying to make yourself look like a newer S10. You're rolling way on the other side. Because I was last. So so at least I got enough to get the parts off of it. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? My truck was on fire. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. said that it was on fucking fire and I was still ripping it. That's what he just said. He was like, you were fucking bouncing off the red limiter on fire, brother. I'm like, yeah. That's how you do it right there. Yeah. I just looked up at the fucking gauge in the middle of my run having a good time, and it was 270. I'm like, well, the engine's already gone now, so whatever. I looked down at the oil pressure at that point. It was like 20. I'm like, okay, she's gone. So. I don't know what it takes to catch them on fire, but I threw that bitch. <laughs> my time clock went off, and I, uh, I thought, oh, it's not dry time. So I banged in and drive. And I felt it going, so I just laid on the motor more and brought that red one where I heard it bumping God, off it. Them so fucking hard. tires. You gotta feel them. You could feel them just, you just were fucking scattered the fuck out. Your fucking motor screamed that She did ever even get over to hundred? Well, I, I lost my uh, water pump belt. I'll tell you what though. Oh, did it really get hot though or no? I, this thing's dry. No, look, I don't know. It is. I didn't look. look. It wasn't steaming. I just need to move it. Came out. In the fire right now. Because the drivability of it is so. Heard you revving it. Like when you whip it, I just turned it right on all in there. Just on the rim, yeah. on the way out. I did too a little bit. That, that fucking that guy was fucking. Yeah, but I got nothing but rim. I'm going over there now. Chad, because Chad drives on the damn track. We gotta replace the whole front end. There you go. Yes, you're driving it. Don't he fucking derby his and then push me to the pits. Like, hey, since your truck's already fucked up, can you push mine to the bed? <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> it's fucking funny. Plus, we ran over here. I was like, do we need to pull Seth in? Or where, where the fuck did Seth go? Tony had the hardest tip in out of us all, though. He tipped it in fucking hard. I heard it. I was like, oh my god, he had to do it on the other side of the pit. Close. Clea I, said I, it was I the best one of the night. Whoa! It, 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 it just sounded, it was raw. It was just floor. Ah! And I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I was trying to stay on it like that, but I just, I couldn't steer. I got to get braced. I was nervous with something because you were trying to on like you said, and then I heard you oh, stop. No. And I was like, uh-oh. 